What is going on guys, it's Bucky and welcome back to your 37th XHTML and CSS tutorial and in this tutorial, as promised, I'm going to be talking to you guys about a different kind of positioning and that's called relative positioning. Now relative positioning is kind of similar to absolute positioning but it's also very different. <laughs> so you're saying how can it be similar and extremely different but it is so let me go ahead and show that to you guys. Let's go ahead and first make a couple paragraphs on the screen so P and just go ahead and like write first let me just go ahead and copy this make like four paragraphs or something that'll be fine first second third and fourth but give this third one an ID oops <laughs> I'm a computer programmer in computer programming you put equal sign twice and that's what I thought I was doing so anyways ID equals third by the way you guys should check out my computer program tutorials they're pretty cool that's just a side note but anyways now for our third paragraph let's first of all give it absolute positioning because that's what we know already so in order to do that go ahead and make your ID third and go ahead and give it a border of like whoa definitely spell that wrong border one pixel solid green that'll make it easy to see and uh, what else can we do? Position absolute. And now let's go ahead and move it top 60 pixels and also left um, 30 pixels. I don't like my top and left to be the same. So, anyways, if we go ahead and save this, what we're going to see is this. We're going to see. Th I mean four paragraphs on the screen and then we're gonna see that third paragraph move 60 pixels down from this top point right here and 30 pixels right so somewhere right in there so check it out we have the first second third and this third box right here from the top left corner of your screen is moved down 60 pixels and right 30 pixels because that's what absolute positioning does it takes this coordinate right here and it moves your box in relation to there so let's go ahead and now instead of absolute type in relative and save this and look how it changes the box is now down more and over to the right the same so we're saying all right what exactly is going on because this is kind of confusing so instead of 60 pixels from the top it's now a lot more so why did this happen? Well, relative positioning is different than absolute positioning in the idea that instead of moving it absolutely from the top left point right here, it moves it in relation to where it would normally be. So instead of having the origin right here and moving 60 down, 30 across, the origin is wherever it would be normally, which is somewhere right in here. And from that point, it moves it 60 down and 30 across. So that's why it's actually more than 60 pixels down from the very top of your screen. Again, if I was to move this absolutely, it would be 60 pixels down from the top and 30 pixels over. But since I'm moving it relatively, it says, all right, you started out, well, let's go ahead and uh, get rid of this, cut this. So you started out right here by default. So here is your starting point right here. And now you have this CSS rule that says, I want to move this 60 pixels down from where I was relative and also 30 pixels over so it's going to take it from right here move it 60 down and 30 over so that's why it ends up right here so anyways that's the difference between absolute and relative absolute moves it from the top left point on your screen and relatives move it from where it was in relation to the rest so now you can see that we come across another problem that it doesn't really help to uh... you might be saying all right I'm just going to make everything relative then instead of absolute because relative is better. Well, we come across this problem. You see, instead of just taking this piece out right here and continuing the flow where first, second, fourth, instead of just moving this fourth up and filling in the gap, we now have a space or a gap of where that box used to be right here. So with absolute, we came across the problem of things overlapping. And now relative, 
we come across the problem of whenever we take something out from the natural flow, we have a huge gap of where it used to be, and it doesn't look like anything really fits in there. So anyways, keep those in mind whenever you're using these two different types of positioning. And by the way, let me say this. People who usually don't lay out a web page all absolute or all relative. This isn't like a choice where you choose one or the other. Yes, you can make an entire web page all absolute or all relative, but you usually use them, use them in conjunction with one another. For example, you might have your outside box relative and every inside box inside that would be absolute. That is a common technique that people use. But anyways, I just want to, you know, get that in your head because in case you thought I was teaching guys the different ways of laying out a website, don't think like that. Think, how can I use these techniques together in order to give my web page the look that I need to achieve? So anyways, there is one last type of positioning that I'm going to be teaching you guys about. And then after that, I'm going to show you guys how to tie everything together and give your website the exact look and feel that you guys want and it's going to be awesome you guys are going to be making beautiful websites in no time so for now thank you guys for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the upcoming videos